And we find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. season is upon us we've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16 this will be taken to the back of the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and ten Now, Rosen on first down. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. Now, Greg Zerline on for the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. A big welcome back carry for David Johnson, who almost missed all of last year. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Rosen. He's going to look deep down the field. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk about how offenses get locked in, and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It goes for a gain of 10, and it's a first Detroit, down. Detroit. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many Detroit, things to account for Detroit. in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. No gain on the play there. Second down. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Now Rosen to throw on second down. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Dominic Easley in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. And some secondary help here for the Watch defense and the nickel running. on third and long. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. From the gun, it's Rosen. And he's got Fitzgerald. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Ten more there and another first down. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Here we go now. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. Right, but on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Uh on second down, here's Rosen. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. And Fitzgerald has got it! Touchdown, Cardinals! Larry Fitzgerald, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 right at the 30. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Now on second down, this is Gurley. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Strong start by this defense. Third and short, they go with a run. Stonewalled for no gain. I played for a guy who always talked about setting tones and meeting force with force. That felt like it on that play, didn't it? And they met it in a big way and won. What a great job by the defense. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that right, culminated touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Now a play fake here on first down. Going for the deep. And got his man complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. And Nelson's got it here right side. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. A big-time play there by the Cardinals. 41 yards. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and goal to go at the seven. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defender. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. David Johnson, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals are in for six.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on. And this is going to be intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. What you just saw there, first round talent, second year, even more success. A pick six for a touchdown. And a great play. And it's tough for these guys, you've told me before, to adjust in the secondary as a first year guy. So that sophomore season is big for them. They really start to expand the playbook for them even more. Sometimes they dumb it down a little bit to make them comfortable year one. By year two, they should have all the nuances. And now they've adjusted to the speed of NFL play as well. Showed right there. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. He'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. Third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. On the return is Peterson. Oh, looting the tackle. Cancel out a very nice return on the punt. And that one was a hold. And I don't know what the percentages are between holding calls and illegal blocks in the back, but both of them go a long way towards wiping out nice returns. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Rosen on first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got right, here it. Here we go. Blue lining. On second down, Johnson. They find some open field here. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Let's it go for Nelson. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Rosen. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. 
but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. On third down, Rosen. And that will be incomplete as well. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Oh, he takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Here's Goff now on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Two for 66. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. For a lot of people, the MVP award means the quarterback award usually, but over 100 yards again last week. And they're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season, I think. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen where we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him over 100 yards last week. Expects to continue that in this game, too. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big conversion there for the Rams on third down. 42 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and just like that, it's third down. Goff now to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. A bad third down mistake there. Points were already on the board in their mind. And that's the worst part about it, right? Because it's just like in golf. Never count it in the cup until it rolls in there. Otherwise, you can really get messed up with your scores. In this case, you know they thought, hey, at least three, maybe even a chance to get six. It's a little bit demoralizing going off the field. Now that you've turned it over and you come up empty. Yeah, if he holds on to that, at least the field goal on fourth down, now they lose it. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now Rosen, flushed out right. Caught right side, Gresham. And down he'll go at the 25. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. 
And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun. Here's Josh Rosen. And he's got Gresham. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Now Rosen on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. More from the desert after this. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. He's going to go for a big play down. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big gain of 31 on third down. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And Dominican Sue in there to get him. And that's sack number eight for him on the year. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Rosen will throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. And now it's Rosen looking. And that is incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And Dawson's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. Powers through. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. 
as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. gives to Gurley and he'll be brought down right around the 37 and now before this first down play we're going to get a timeout here as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 they go play action here on first down he's letting it fly for Cooks incomplete and we're down to eight seconds now Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. A final shot before break here. Golf. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now it's Peterson. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cards will take over. First opportunity here in the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has in total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. 
Third and long here for Rosen. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. If they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On second down, here's gone. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Chandler Jones in there to drop him, and his great season continues. 13 sacks for him now on the year. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Hey, Louis, Louis, Louis. From the gun, here's Goff. They got him, man. it's Woods. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Defensively, they just lost him. He was waving his arm saying, I'm wide open. They found him. Yeah, and it's so interesting about when a receiver starts to wave his arms because some guys right off the line of scrimmage, they declare themselves open. You know, those guys throw the one arm up, right. hit me right now. In this case, he was so wide open that he was frantically trying to get his attention to make sure he got the football. And then I'm sure his only thought when the ball was in the air, don't drop it. Had too much time to think. To throw on second down is gone. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Jamar Taylor there on the coverage. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. It's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Rams on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. Five, five, Maverick, Maverick. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank. I'm third and what, right? I bet they're in the top. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. He's going to get it running right. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Jonathan Hankins in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. And Zerline's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Second and 10, it's Rosen again. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. And Dama can sue. In there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. After the interception, here's Goff. Eluding the pressure right. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. DC, DC! Out of the gun, gone. Sack. They push him back to the 34. Dayon Buchanan coming hard from that linebacker spot. He drops him for a loss of 11. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. A shotgun snap for Goff. Looking to start for once, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Looking for Woods that time. Count him now. Six interceptions between last week and this week. Now the three picks last week helped him to a win. They're in the driver's seat once more. And they're the ones that are doing all the leading, aren't they? Right? The three interceptions last week, that led to a victory. Three interceptions so far in this game, that has them out in front. We often think of the offense driving things. In this case, it's the defense, not just holding teams, but creating big plays for themselves. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Johnson again. And some room to maneuver. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, no, no, gain no, no, some no. yardage, Patrick, and put the Patrick, onus Patrick. on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. The Cardinals on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and seven. Play action here with Rosen. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. Golf will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at the 20. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And yeah, not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Sliding out of the pocket. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Back to the air. Goff on second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 34. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. Because well, here we are season in December, of giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Logan. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Edmonds. Pretty move. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Again, they run with Edmonds. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. The Cardinals on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Now Edmonds, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. And the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning, and we'll be back. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So with that, you figure, yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Lift. 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 They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. The tackle made there by Dayon Buchanan. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're running with Gurley, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Down to a knee, here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and law. Down to a knee, here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. 
As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And Dawson's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? That's fielded in the end zone. Now the Rams' offense, they work their way back on the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? He's got a man complete. Golf finding Cooks on a big play. 42 yards. Now they got to get to the line quickly. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. On now is the big leg of Greg Zerline. He has hit from as far as 61 away in his career. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. 